Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at the Somerset Levels floods, which many of you will have studied as your UK extreme weather event. This is part of Paper 1, Unit A, The Challenge of Natural Hazards. One of the worst incidents of flooding in recent years took place in the Somerset Levels in January and February 2014, with many villages underwater for several weeks. Somerset is in South West England. The Somerset Levels and the Somerset Moors form an extensive area of low-lying farmland and wetlands. These are bordered by the Bristol Channel and the Quantock Hills to the west and the Mendip Hills to the north. The area is in a catchment of several rivers, with the biggest being the Tone and the Parrot. These flow into the Severn Estuary via the town of Bridgewater. Flooding has occurred naturally here for centuries and the deposition of alluvium means it's excellent land for farming. This in turn has encouraged settlements to develop. However, building settlements here on the floodplain has increased the risk of flooding. So what led to the devastating floods of that winter? Well, there were lots of factors at play here. Firstly, it was the wettest January on record, and records began back in 1910. Low pressure weather lasted weeks with a series of depressions coming over from the Atlantic, picking up moisture on the way. This resulted in 35 centimetres of rain falling in January and February, which is around 10 centimetres more than average. This meant that saturated ground was unable to absorb any more rainfall, leading to an increase in surface runoff. Secondly, high tides clash with storm surges, which swept huge amounts of water back up the Bristol Channel. This means that fresh water trying to reach the sea was blocked and ended up spilling over the riverbanks. Finally, local rivers had not been dredged for more than 20 years, meaning they had become clogged with sediment and other debris such as tree branches. This meant there was less capacity within the river channel, so less water could be held before a flood event occurred. This flood event was the most severe hazard ever to hit this area. And as a result, flooding of the Somerset levels was the lead story on the national news and was on the front page of all the national newspapers. There were many social, economic and environmental impacts of these extensive floods. In terms of social impacts, over 600 houses were flooded and 16 farms evacuated. This meant that residents had to be evacuated to temporary accommodation, where many of them ended up staying for several months. Villages such as Moorland and Michelney were completely cut off. This meant that daily life became almost impossible, for example, going to the shops or going to school. Many villages were without power for several days or weeks at a time when temperatures were low. In terms of economic impact, Somerset County Council estimated that the cost of flood damage would be more than £10 million. There was a huge impact on farming with more than 1,400 hectares of land used for grazing and crops underwater for three to four weeks. As a result, a thousand livestock had to be evacuated. Local roads were cut off, as was the main railway line through the area, meaning trade was difficult. In terms of environmental impacts, floodwaters were heavily contaminated with sewage and other pollutants such as oil and chemicals. Lots of debris had to be cleared once the floodwaters had subsided and the stagnant water that had collected for months had to be re-oxygenated before being pumped back into rivers. Otherwise, it would have caused significant damage to marine ecosystems. Immediate responses included residents being evacuated and given temporary accommodation elsewhere. The local community was well supported by an army of volunteers who set up support facilities in churches and village halls and helped local people get to work, school and the shops using boats. Homeowners also moved their belongings upstairs and used sandbags to try to keep out as much flood water as possible. In terms of long-term responses, one of the biggest challenges was to pump out the water of the Somerset levels and back into the rivers once their discharge had decreased. 
You can see this on the screen. In order to reduce the risk of future flooding, Somerset County Council developed a £20 million flood action plan with the support of the Environment Agency. This included a number of strategies such as dredging the River Tone and the River Parrot to increase the channel capacity. It also included raising the road levels to stop villages getting cut off in the future, putting flood defences in place in the most vulnerable villages and raising and strengthening the river banks and installing more pumping stations. All of these measures should mitigate the risk of such an extreme event happening in the future. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on the Somerset Levels flooding. Thank you for watching.